Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Girls of Summer by Nancy Thayer. So, what do I say about this book? Number one, I usually love all of Nancy Thayer's books. And this cover is really cool. I really love it. Um, but I'm only giving this book three stars. <laughs> I know. So, I mean, it had good bones. It had good, like, it sounded really good. Um, yeah. So, let me read you a synopsis and then I'll tell you why I gave it three stars. So, it says, Lisa Hudson feels more alive than she has in a long time after hiring hunky carpenter Mac Whitney to renovate her old Nantucket home. Nantucket. My kind of book. There's no den denying the spark growing between them, despite the fact that Mac is 10 years her junior. So throughout the whole book, they talk about how he is 10 years younger than her, and they just go over and over and over it, which drove me up the wall. Just saying. Um, it says, but her 20-something children, Juliet and Theo, on the island for the summer worry that the new relationship will only lead to Lisa's heartbreak. Yet, Juliet and Theo are in for tangled love stories all their own. When dreamy Cooper Hastings moves to the island to pursue a new envir environmental venture, Juliet feels an unwelcome attraction, her rocky romantic history pushing her to steer clear of love. Theo only has eyes for Mac's daughter, Bethany, with whom he was bound by an unspeakable tragedy in high school. But can they overcome their past? By August, when an impending storm threatens to shatter the peace of the Golden Island, everyone discovers that they can and cannot control. Nancy Thayer dazzles again with this new tale of a magical summer. Okay, number one, uh, Cooper Hastings, his name is Ryder. And I don't remember his name being Ryder Cooper Hastings. Maybe it is, but I distinctly remember him being named Ryder. Okay, that's odd. But anyway, so the very first part of the book, um, I thought was going somewhere. Um, maybe the first chapter or two. But then it, I soon realized that the author was really trying to cram a lot of years in those first two and three chapters because she was telling about... Uh, Lisa, Lisa is, Lisa is our main character, and she's like 57, I think, 56, 57. Her children are grown, but the first two, three chapters are, maybe two chapters, are about her first marriage and her children when they're young, but it's like all crammed in there, and it's like, um, really fast, you know. I'm like, okay, well, maybe she's going, the author is going to tell us now about Lisa and Mac, Right. Um, but what happens is she does tell us about Lisa and Mac, who is the, um, carpenter that Lisa has hired to fix her old house that she has on Nantucket, which I love books about Nantucket. Um, but what has happened is now Juliet, uh, meets Ryder, who is there, and he is a, um... Uh, what's the word? He he is the head of Ocean Matters, which they are um, environmentalists to save you know the uh, the ocean and all the sea life you know and everything. And he's he's the head of that. And she starts falling in love with him. Okay, so you have that story, and then you have Theo, which is Lisa's son, who is in love with Beth, which is Max's daughter. Now all three, so Beth and um, Juliet and um, Theo all went to school together. Now, Theo and Beth liked each other in high school, but Beth went, was going with his best friend, and there was a tragedy that happened, and so they never got together. Now, years later, as adults, now they all, you know, now Theo and um, Beth have found each other. Now, my problem with this story... So, I feel like this could have been three different books. If, if the author had just um, told the story of Lisa and Beth, not Lisa and Beth, Lisa and Mac, I think I would have liked it a lot better. But there was so much going on. It was, one chapter was Lisa and Mac. One chapter was 
Theo and Beth. One chapter was Juliet and Ryder, you know, and it was kind of tied together, but I didn't feel like it was tied together good until the very end. And then it kind of sort of was tied together. I don't know. Like I said, three stars. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I just didn't really care for it. I did finish it. I was kind of invested in the story, but um, I started skipping around a little bit because I got, like I said, I got tired of them saying how Lisa was 10 years older than Mac. Okay. Um, it was continually said over and over. And then the same thing, same story with um, Theo and Beth was... Um, I don't know. It just did not work for me. Um, like I said, I feel like this should have been three different books. If this story had been just Lisa and Mac's story, I think it would have been way better. And then maybe the next story could have been Juliet and Ryder's story. And then the next one could have been Beth and Theo. I think it would have been a lot better than just in this one book. Um, because there wasn't enough of each one, each character for me to feel like um I love the story you know what I mean yeah <laughs> so three stars I will still pick up Nancy Thayer I like her books usually um I will still pick her books up but this one just didn't do it for me three stars <laughs> so that's it guys you normally won't see that many books from me uh, book reviews that I only give three stars because most of the time I would have I would have DNF that book, um, but I gave it a chance because um, I like that author and I thought well we'll give it a chance. But anyway, that's it. That's all I got. If you like this video, give me a like. And hey, while you're here, how about a subscribe? Don't forget to check back for more book videos coming up soon. Let me show you my T-shirt. You've already seen it, but in these times. Not to spoil the ending, but everything is going to be okay. That's right. See you guys later.